So then gang, normally when we're creating mobile designs, we'd use media queries in our CSS file to style things differently at different screen sizes, right? Now in Tailwind, we don't have to manually create any media queries at all. We can just prefix our Tailwind classes with responsive classes. And then that class would only apply to that screen size and up. Now the responsive classes are these right here, SM, MD, LG, and XL. So if we prefix a class with SM, it means, okay, only target things from small screens and up. If we prefix it with MD, only target that class from medium sized screens and up. Now, all of these breakpoints that they use are min width, which means this is a mobile first approach. So by default, all classes that you apply to an element will apply at all widths, including the smallest screen sizes. But then when we prefix them with one of these things right here, then those classes would only apply for that device width and up, okay? So a little example here, we have this div and we give it a background color of red. Now that would mean that on all screen sizes, starting from the very smallest, give this element a background of red. Now, as soon as the screen gets as wide as this breakpoint with SM, which remember is this thing right here, 640 pixels, as soon as it reaches that width, we're saying here, apply this class instead. So we prefix this class with SM and then a colon, right? So then at this screen size and up, it would become green. At medium size screens and up, it would become blue. And at large size screens and up, it would become pink extra large and up, it would become teal, right? So let's do a few examples now of our own. So let's head back to the code. And what I'd like to do is maybe apply some different responsive uh, breakpoints to this title at the top in the nav. So that's right here, this anchor tag. So what I'm gonna do to begin with is give this a class to colorize the text, and that's gonna be text green 500. So this is going to color the text green for all screen sizes, right? So it's green right here. And if we make the viewport a bit smaller like this, it's still green. Now, what I'm also going to do is say, okay, well, at the small breakpoint colon, so SM colon, I want you to change that so that it's text hyphen red 500. So by default on the smallest possible screens, it's going to be green text strength 500. But then as we get larger, when we reach the small breakpoint, which is 640 pixels wide, at that point, I want to change that to text red. So let's have a look. It's green to begin with. Then when we get to 640 pixels wide, it should turn red. There we go. So this is a mobile first approach. We're starting with this class, which doesn't have a responsive class in front of it. This one, we start at mobile size, really small. Then as we slowly get larger, we change it. Okay, so we're getting larger and changing the class. Likewise, I could say LG for large, or it could be even medium for medium. Let's go with large. And then let's change this to text. Oops, text hyphen blue hyphen 500. So let's preview that again. Starts at green, goes to red, and then eventually blue. And we could have extra large as well if we wanted to. So it's not just text color that can change. Any class that you want to place after these breakpoint classes, you can do. So for example, I'm going to say right here, text small. And then when you get to medium size screens this time, I'm going to say text, and it's going to be XL. So let's give that a whirl save it and go to the very start and we can see the text is small so until we get to the medium breakpoint this time it bypasses the small one because we don't have any small breakpoint for the text size and then when we get to the medium then it gets a little bit larger which is round about here there we go and it stays that way for as wide as the viewport gets okay so let's actually do something useful with these breakpoints i'm going to take those back off we don't need them anymore and now i'm gonna style these things right here so that a smaller screens they're gonna sit in the middle and then on larger screens they're gonna sit on the right so let's go down to those and it's this property right here this class we need to change for different screen sizes so i only want this to take effect from medium sized screens and up so i just place md in front of that then a colon and now if i save this then notice if I go very small, 
it's the default value which is over on the left but as soon as I get to a medium size screen it goes to the right now I don't want it to sit on the left by default for smaller screen sizes I want it to be in the center so I can say justify hyphen center to do that so now on very small screen sizes it's going to use this class then when it gets to the medium size screen and up it's going to use justify end so let me save that and let's preview small screen sizes then when we get to medium it's going to go to the right awesome so we are going to be using these responsive classes right here quite a lot as we go through the rest of the series which is why i wanted to introduce them now